Hi everyone, so uh, it's my great pleasure to introduce Herb Golder, whose fantastic documentary, which is filming Werner Herzog, basically. basically. Amazing film, congratulations, Thank welcome. You so, much. so many questions and we could run away for hours. So before we get to the synopsis, I imagine anyone that's watching, the very first thing to ask is, because frankly, getting to meet Werner, knowing Werner Herzog would be like me trying to meet Kubrick or Spielberg or, you know, any other greats that you can think of, Coppola. So ha what's the, the relationship with you? We obviously know the guy very well. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've known Werner for uh, three decades now. So we've been friends and um, when I met him, um, it was kind of a serendipitous meeting. I give you the short version because the long version would take up the whole interview. But uh, I bet that's was, more interesting, it, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's a, it, I kind of met him serendipitously, and I, at that time I had a back burner project to write a book about his films, and so we started to talk about it. And he cut me off, and he said, "Let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you." And uh, my day job is I'm the professor of classics. Yes, yes. So he. We started to talk about my work, and my main interest is in Greek drama. And he said, what's your favorite play? So I said, it's the Philoctetes of Sophocles. And he said, why? And so I went on for maybe 10 minutes about why that was my favorite play. And he said, Herb, forget this book you want to write about my films. You're destined to make films. You start working with me today. And I started working with him that day. So that's how this relationship came about. And over the years, uh, I've, wow. worked, I've worked with him in one capacity or another on 10 films, features and documentaries, co-written films, uh, produced with him, been his assistant director, uh, done the post-production, scattered locations, even acted in one of his feature films. And we're very good friends. I mean, we're sort of kindred spirits. In, in and the way. thing, that I, I particularly, I mean, I've, I've seen loads of his, but I mean, Fitzcarraldo is one that sort of jumps to my Fitzcarraldo is fantastic, great. yeah. One of the greatest, yeah. But, but one, of, one thing that really, I really admire about him is he doesn't just make films. That sounds really passionate. He doesn't just make films. He does documentaries. He's an actor as well. Oh, well yeah. He wasn't in John Wick. He was in something like that, wasn't he? Um, uh, wasn't he? Because he done. What was his Bad huh? Lieutenant? His Bad Lieutenant. Well, bad was, Lieutenant is a film he directed. He directed, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. Yeah, but no, no. He was in. Um, I know what you're talking about. It was uh, with Tom Cruise. Yeah. Uh, it was. Um, was that the one where he, Tom Cruise was the hitman? Tom Cruise is the hitman, I think, and he plays a villain. Herzog plays a villain. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, um, a, a kind of a Russian. Uh, yeah. Mobster, uh, assassin. Uh, collateral. It's collateral. Is it collateral? No, not collateral. What was it called? Uh, well, you know, we're going to. He filmed in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember that, and uh, I remember that he, Werner was so good as the bad guy that a friend of mine who used to be in the Russian army, who was in a special unit where they were to hunt out these these Russian gangsters and assassinate them, told me that Werner was exactly like the men they used to hunt and kill. That he was absolutely believable in that it. part, yeah. And he's also acted in a number of Peter Fleischman movie and a couple of um, uh, Julian Donkey Boy uh, in, in a number of. He's been in a lot. Yeah, of he movies. says. He's, but yeah, he's. He's a he's, man from. And, he, and he's, in a, he's in. He's in. He's in another upcoming film, but uh, I'm not allowed to say what it is. Okay, <laughs> so, no, yeah. So yeah. he's a man for all seasons. Yeah? Definitely a man for all seasons. Yeah. Okay, so. You, you, I mean, look, this is. The amount of people would bite your hand off to, to film, and obviously it's, it's almost impossible. You, you know him, you're good friends with him. What was that experience like? Because I know you knew him already. Yeah. I know you've had a lot, a lot of, you had a lot of history even before this. But sure. Even so, this is a, this is a new gig, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How did you? How on earth did you approach this? How did you? How did you persuade him to say yes? Yeah. It, it, it really. Uh, there, no words were exchanged. What happened was, uh, so I, I had written a feature film with him called My Son, My Son, What Have You Done? Yeah, yeah. And uh, it was always understood we would work together on the film. When I work with Werner on films, he's very comfortable having me work with actors. And we also often rewrite the script from times from day to day, we're changing things. So I was there on set working with him on this movie. Uh, nobody was filming anything behind the scenes. And I did bring a camera with me thinking, well, maybe I shoot something, maybe. But I hadn't made up my mind yet. And the main producer of the film approached me one day early into shooting and said, you know, nobody's getting any coverage. Why don't you shoot some stuff? Bing! So I took, I took out the camera and I, I thought that Werner would right away tell me to turn it off because he really doesn't want anybody documenting him 
while he's working. Yeah. But I think because we've been friends, because he trusts me, because there's a relationship there, uh, there, was a, there was a kind of complicitous, silent understanding that maybe this too had to be part of the legacy and that I would be the only person he would trust to make a very intimate film about him where you see a side of him that's really only known to his close friends and collaborators because everybody knows the larger than life mythic public persona of Werner Herzog who stares down the camera and talks about the meaning of life and the meaning of cinema of everything from the beginning to the end of the universe but what you see in my film is something as I said a side of him that's different. only a master craftsman at work uh, a human being uh, you know warmth smiles frustration uh, but also um, you know he, he, an intimate view of his his artistry his movie making and you're talking about serendipity because uh, life is luck I know but you have to work to get the luck right right but you had to be in the right place at the right yeah. time my, my father always used to say uh, the harder I work the luckier I got Ah, uh, okay. So, so you know, <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. So, so that's a good one. Yeah. But even so, I know you've known him for years, and without me becoming a bit too much of a fanboy, it must be the thrill of working with. Because he, he, all jokes like, of course, you know, he's one of the greats. Is it? There's no, no, there's absolutely no denying that. Yeah. Okay. So, but working with him, perhaps on a daily to day basis, which you sometimes must do, it must be thrilling. It is, it is. Is there another word? I don't know how, to, yeah, how you it's, describe uh, it. It's, I guess it's like if you were Muhammad Ali's sparring partner, you know? Yeah. You get into the ring and go uh, 10 rounds with one of the greatest. Uh, you know, it's a privilege, really. I mean, I, 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 I'm always challenged. Uh, I always learn something. Uh, he's the master, and I guess I'll forever be the disciple in some sense, you know? Uh, and so it's, it, a, it's a great uh, privilege for me to be able to work with somebody who's, uh, you know... That, that brilliant? Yeah. Frankly, and, that and, that original, and that yeah, original, and that original. You know, uh, Werner never disappoints me. He's um, and, he, and he's always, in some sense, uh, you know, in in some ways, he's got. He's, he's. I would say he's in love with the world. That sense of awe and discovery and excitement is always there, uh, and has been with him from the beginning. And so he brings that to everything he does. So. It always feels fresh and new. It never feels like, oh, we, we had this conversation before, we've, we've, we've tried this already. It's always some, it's a discovery. It's always exciting. I mean, would, you, would a way to describe, because obviously I have no idea what the guy's like, a polymath, would that be a way to describe He's it? certainly a polymath. Um, you know, he, uh, if he had chosen another path in life, he would be uh, a, a, an astrophysicist or probably a, a guy working in theoretical mathematics. And, he knows history uh, extremely well. I've, I've, I've listened to him for hours talk about obscure battles that were never fought in Europe because the two armies missed each other, because of the, 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 the terrain, because of the landscape, because they missed the pass, because a mountain got in the way. Uh, no, he's, he's, I, won't, I won't say his encyclopedic knowledge, but he just always amazes me with the breadth of his learning, his reading. You know, one thing he always advises young filmmakers when they say, what do you need to do? Read. Two things, walk on foot, read, <laughs> walk and, on and foot, throw right? all the rules out the window. Oh, okay. Yeah. And And um, I know you, I say that, say polymath sparingly, because when I hear someone say that, I always think people like Da Vinci and Picasso, or not necessarily, but yeah, maybe Picasso, that kind of greatness, which is some people annoyingly have, was I envy, but in, no, envy is wrong. Yeah, envy, it's, it's amazing, and there's very few people that have had that, that gift that can go into anything. So when you look, there's a bit of a quirky question, when you look back before you knew Werner, and then you met Werner, and then you've had this collaboration with Werner, it's probably an impossible question actually. Has it changed you, or how you look at life, might be a better way to ask the question. His influence, maybe, is what I mean, I'm getting at. Well, uh, for sure, it's had an enormous impact on my life. Um, but I guess when I, when I, when I, let's say when I discovered Werner's work, um, my two worlds came together. I, and I, and, um, because I say my interest, in my main interest was in classical Greek drama, Greek tragedy. Uh, and when I discovered Werner's work, I realized this is Greek tragedy. 
that if Sophocles were alive today, <laughs> these are the movies he would be making. He wouldn't be making theater plays. He'd be working in the most powerful myth-making medium we have, which is cinema, and he'd be making movies just as Werner's making. This, this, all of his stories, in one way or another, represent a man in extremis, at the extreme outreaches or limits of, of our condition. You know, where like an, like an element in nature subjected to extreme heat or extreme pressure, human beings reveal their essential makeup. And to me, that's what happens in Greek tragedy, and that's what happens in Werner's film. So it was a kind of uh, reviv a revalidation of what everything I was interested in, in, in living form. So, so for me, yeah. And the first film I ever saw, believe it or not, was Fitzcarraldo. Well, it was a film, oh, okay. And, and I saw it only by accident, because uh, I, I was, it was a cold, windy day in New York City, uh, I only wanted to get out of the, the the wind and the rain, and I saw a movie poster, and I saw a mountain. With a, I saw with the a name, boat on the name. I saw the name Herzog, and I thought it was Maurice Herzog, the great mountain climber who conquered Annapurna. Right. So I thought it was a documentary about the conquest of Annapurna, either by Maurice Herzog or about Maurice Herzog. And so I went in. I had always, up to that point, avoided German cinema. It did, I was interested in Japanese cinema, Italian cinema, Swedish cinema, but the Germans were always somehow too political for me, and I just couldn't quite connect with it. I saw this movie. I thought it was about the conquest of Annapurna. I went in. Of course, it was Fitzcarraldo. Yeah. And when I walked out of that theater, I turned to the woman I was with, and uh, I said, you know, if I made that, if, if I had made that film, I could die tomorrow and feel that my life had been fulfilled. Because it is incredible. Yeah. To people, I mean, it is literally one of those films that you see and it just changes. Yeah. And it is a bizarre, amazing yeah. film. That happened to me when I watched Alien, actually, for the first time, because I was a kid and I hadn't seen anything like it. I'm sort of going off, so I know exactly what you mean. So you, if you were to make a documentary, another one, and maybe you have made some other since I don't know. I don't know how you top this. Well, I'm sure you, the, you, there is always <laughs> subjects, but, you know, if you're well, looking at I was... Thing, I was yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how I would. I couldn't. Another film like this one could never be made be, again. And that's in a way why I felt I had to make it. It was almost a duty uh, that there would never be anybody who was in the position that I was in who had the access yeah, yeah. to him that I have working side by side with him behind the camera, who would be able to make this movie. And so it was almost a duty that it had to be made and had to become part of the Werner Herzog legacy. Uh, I re recently was approached about another making another film about Werner where uh, I, I would, would have called it Landscapes of the Soul and it would have been a kind of a montage of just extraordinary moments in his films that I would have put together but it would be a totally di That's different not the character yeah, from, it's not the from this film. It's a di yeah, Thank you. totally different kind of film. Herb, that was wonderful. Thank you, Steve. Thank you so Thank much. You. That was brilliant. Yeah. That was great. I could talk to you for hours. Yes. And I'm well aware that, the, you know, it's just the time.